Nerd morning, everyone. My name is Jeremy, and this is the Nerd Morning Show, a place where we celebrate nerd culture by talking about comics, books, video games, movies, and more. And this is our weekly report video. I'm really excited to cover some things. We've got a bunch of big pieces of news, so let's dive right in. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. So let's first dive right into comics. We've got some key issues that came out with some first appearances and things like that. For Marvel, we have Moon Knight issue number three. That is the first full appearance of Hunter's Moon. The death of Doctor Strange number one has the death of Doctor Strange. The United States of Captain America 4 has the first appearance of Ari Agbayani, a Filipino-American Captain America-inspired hero. And for DC, we have Aquaman the Becoming number one, the first appearance of Deluge. Batman 113 has the first full appearance of Peacekeeper X. Batman Secret Files Miracle Molly number one, has the origin story for Miracle Molly. Batman The Adventure Continues Season 2, Issue Number 4 has the first appearance of The Muscle. Flash 774 has the first appearance of Dr. Nightmare. So those are some of the big key comics that I thought were worth note this week. For movies and TV, we've got a bunch of news, some really cool things that were brought to my attention. Amazon is doing a Middle Earth TV show and wants to bring back the Lord of the Rings music composer Howard Shore for the show. I think this would be perfect if they're really trying to push that this Middle Earth show is going to have that same experience and flavor as the Lord of the Rings movies. I think this is one way to really unify them is through the music. So I love this idea. Peacemaker is going to be a show that's going to be happening on HBO Max and they had a tease for the show. It's going to be starring John Cena who is playing Peacemaker and he played the Peacemaker in the Suicide Squad movie and he is reprising that role. Hawkeye TV show had its first teaser trailer recently. It's going to be a holiday show. It's Looks fantastic, and I am extremely excited for it. Marvel's Hitmonkey got a trailer release. This will be airing on Hulu. It is an animated show, and it is set to release on November 17th of 2021. Fantastic Beasts 3, the spin-off series for the Wizarding Worlds of Harry Potter, gets its title and release date. It will be called Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, and it will be releasing on April 15th, 2022. Star Wars Visions released this week on Disney+. Plus. I watched the entire series and I have to say this was amazing. I had so much fun with it. I'm a big anime fan and getting to see some of these interpretations that they had for the Star Wars franchise was fantastic. I had a lot of fun. There were certain episodes that I liked more than others, but overall I was very pleased. What are your thoughts about Star Wars Visions? Put those in the comments. I'd love to hear your ideas. Netflix got the rights to the animated series for Tomb Raider, and Lara Croft will be voiced by Hayley Atwell, who is most notably recognized for her role as Peggy Carter in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think that she'll do a really great job in the role, and I'm excited to see the show. Nintendo is making an animated movie. It's going to be making a Mario Brothers movie, and they're teaming up with Illumination, and I am really, really interested to see what will happen with this. This cast has some really big names, and there are people who are both really excited and really upset about some of the casting. Chris Pratt will play Mario. Anya Taylor-Joy will play Peach. Charlie Day will play Luigi. Jack Black will play Bowser. Keegan-Michael Key will play Toad. Seth Rogen will play Donkey Kong. And Charles Marnay, the voice actor for many Nintendo characters in the games, including Mario, will have a mystery role in the animated movie. What do you think of this casting? Are there ones that you're excited about? things that you're a little disappointed of, let me know. Put them in the comments. I'm really interested about your reactions and thoughts about this. This is a really big piece of news for me, and I just am excited and hopeful for this project to be really good, but only time will tell. Let's dive into books. For books this week, Brandon Sanderson will be hosting his first ever con. Dragon Steel Mini Con will be on November 22nd and 23rd at the Utah Valley Convention Center in Provo, Utah. It will have panels, authors, workshops, artists, and more, but it will also be focused around the release of his new book, Cytonic, 
which is book three in the sci-fi series Skyward, and you can find more about the convention at minicon.dragonsteelbooks.com. Sunreach is a Skyward flight novella and will be out on September 28th. It'll be out in an audio format, and there are several of these novellas in the works expanding the world of Skyward. Sunreach is by Brandon Sanderson and Jancy Patterson. For games this week, Epic Games' online store is giving another free game this week. The Escapists will be free now until September 30th at 9 a.m. It regularly retails for $17.99. It is an 8-bit style game where you are in a prison and you're working to escape. It is an action strategy game and it is a single player. Star Wars Hunters had a game teaser this will be releasing in 2022 and this is definitely one for Star Wars fans to keep on their radar. Nintendo had a big event and there's a lot of news to cover. Here are some of the games that they had announced as well as some of the expansions. Mario Party Superstars will be available on October 29th. The Isle Dragon Roars will be available on the 28th of October. Disco Elysium The Final Cut will be available on October 12th. Hyrule Warriors will have a second wave DLC called The Guardian of Remembrance, and that lands on October 29th. Kirby and the Forgotten Land will be a new game, as well as more stuff that they showed about Metroid Dread. And also we're getting a new Bayonetta game. What games are you most looking forward to? Let us know, put those in the comments. Nintendo also announced that they're going to be doing a library of N64 games and Sega Genesis games that are gonna be available on the Nintendo Switch. To get this, you have to have the regular Nintendo Switch Online Pass and an added on expansion pack to get access to the library. Some of the games that will be included for the N64 are going to be Super Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, Star Fox 64, and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. For Sega Genesis games, we're gonna have games like Castlevania Bloodlines, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and Contra Hard Corps. Which games are you most excited for or ones that you want to be added on this library? Let me know, put those in the comments. Fortnite is celebrating its fourth year anniversary and there are some birthday event items that you can win in the game if you're playing in the next few days. These are only gonna be available then, so if you're a fan of the game and want to scoop up those items, you've got to act fast. Nerd Morning Gaming is a place on YouTube where I talk about video games and do live game streams those live game streams are also available on Twitch and Facebook at Nerd Morning in those respective places. This week on Tuesday, we'll be playing Batman Arkham City from 7 to 9 p.m. Mountain Time and Horizon Zero Dawn on Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m. Mountain Time. I want to give a big thank you to everyone watching videos, listening to podcasts, and supporting me in all the various ways. It really means so much, and I'm excited to continue sharing content like this in the future. Thank you again, and we'll catch you all next time.